Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map for suppressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Greenwood Forest. But before that, this video is brought to you by Chad Bergman and Jolly Rancher Gaming. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Greenwood Forest map can be found at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome to Greenwood Forest Farm. This farm has challenging ground conditions covered with forests on all sides. You can have a few fields on this farm. The vast majority of the map is covered with forests and very little is arable. This is a fictional map set in a wooded area. You have a small farm and equipment on the map. You have a small factory where you can process trees to cut on a plot. On the map, you'll find that there are eight fields and two places of arable woodland. Various production and sell points. Productions are available that all wood related manufacturing. Oh, so sorry. All wood related manufacturing factories. This map does include a sawmill. All DLCs are fully supported. A mm, little question on that. Platinum expansion is required because there are platinum expansion productions pre placed on the map. Now, this map doesn't list any required mods, but. That is the case. There are some required mods, so let's go ahead and talk about those. So if you load this map up without any mods, you will get prompted that you will need to download the garages for machines, garage with silo, as well as the sawmill and sheds pack. So those aren't listed as required mods on the website, but they are definitely gonna be required to load this map. If you do wanna put this map on a multiplayer server, be sure to download those mods and upload those as well. Otherwise, the map just isn't going to load. In addition to those required mods, we are going to be using mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, if you load this map up in farm, manager mode, or start from scratch, you will find that the farm is set exactly how you see it here in new farm mode. In addition, you do have starting machinery in all game modes. And then lastly, if you happen to load this map up on a low end system, don't be fretted about the fact that there are lots of trees on this map. There's actually not a whole lot of trees on this map, even though a vast majority of the map is forested. It's a very light forest. There's no issues whatsoever with maintaining a nice solid 60 FPS. I used a system with AMD integrated graphics when I test this stuff out and I had no issues whatsoever with a nice solid 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And we're gonna zoom out and I think as you're gonna see, this is kind of a wilderness forestry map combo where there are fields on this map, but they are few, far between and very, very small compared to the vast openness that is the forest. And again, it's very sparsely planted trees. Very easy to get around, and it shouldn't take too many trees to clear out to get a decent sized farming area. We do have all the standard crops available to us in FS22 available on this map. And we take a look at our lands. We start up by owning farmland ID1, which is this huge, massive area in the northwest corner. $4.5 million is the purchase price. That's why you really need to start this map up in new farm armor regardless of what you want to do, because of the fact, well, everything is just so, so expensive. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. There's only eight viable farmlands on this map, of which we own two of those. So we take a look, we can see we have a 91 hectare, which is farmland 81, it contains one field. And then we have farmland 82, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 that we do not own. Let's go ahead and take a look at our field calculator screen. Field one is just a mere 1.26 hectares. The fields that do exist on the map range anywhere from 0.3 up to our largest field, which is the one we own at 1.26. So again, if you're gonna be doing any real farming on this map, you're gonna be making your own fields. So this is a wilderness slash forestry map. With respect to our crop counter, we do have the standard FS22 crop counter available to us here on this map. And if we take a look down our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are available to us in FS22, as well as our eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. 
as we make our way down through all the base game production items, we once again do indeed have the ability to sell all our base game production items as well. Now, one thing to note, we do not have the ability to buy bulk lime, nor do we have the ability to sell our stones. So if we do play with stones enabled, we will need to put down our own stone sell point. If you are going to play with the farm production pack, you will need to put down your own sell point for your washed root crops. And in addition, while we do have some platinum expansion production items, we don't have the ability to pretty much sell any of the platinum expansion productions on this map pre-placed, which is a little bit disappointing. So if you are going to do any of the platinum expansion productions, you're going to need to put down a sell point to sell the platinum expansion productions that you make. We do have the ability to sell our premium expansion productions and crops, which is always good to see. We do have the ability to sell our separated manure. So if you are playing with pumps and hoses, you're good to go there. And hay and straw pellets are also covered with the straw harvest add-on. With respect to our starting vehicles, these are going to be available in all play modes, and none of it is leased. We do not have any animals pre-placed on this map. We do have contracts available on the few fields that we do not own. And as far as productions, well, all the productions are owned at the start. We have the carpentry, which is going to accept wood and plank for furniture and wood chips. We have the furniture factory, which is part of the platinum expansion. And again, that's going to make armoires, chairs, and tables from planks or long planks. None of those can be sold. The flooring factory, which is going to do floor tiles from planks and long planks, can't sell floor tiles either. The bird accessories, cat toys, and dog houses, nope, can't sell those either. So you're going to have to put down sell points for all of those factories. And then we have our sawmill for our normal planks. Lastly, this map does not have any collectibles. So let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start with the Fent Vario 314, the Massey Ferguson 5S145, and the Massey Ferguson 4710M small tractors. We have our Nova 330 Harvester. That's going to be paired off the Nova 330 Harvester Power Stream header. We have the DK115 trailer, the Servo 25 plow, as well as the Torino 3FX cultivator, the Nordstein HK25 NS3030 cedar power harrow in combination. We have a 144 ND log trailer. We have the SF900 stump grinder, and we have a pair of Q7M front loader arms. Oddly, those are pretty long front loader arms for our small tractors. I would have thought we'd had a smaller front loader arms there. We have two log forks for those front loader arms, and we have a pair of 1500 kilogram front weight and a 2500 kilogram front weight. With respect to mods and DLCs, this map does not have any. Now, with respect to our farm here, well, we've got a few buildings. Let me see where our weights are located. And our starting machinery is going to be located within these buildings. We have an easy shed. We have a platinum log cabin farmhouse and then we have our silo so we're at a dump point and then inside of this door we're going to have our output pipe located right there and if you don't really want this well you can just come over here click this trigger and put it all away Now, as far as this farm being customizable, yes, you can sell all of these buildings. You can make this whole area completely void and fully customizable. So we will be giving the map a full point with respect to this farm being completely customizable. All of these are part of the required mods or built into the map. And if you take a look here in build mode, let's go and take a look at our ground textures. So you've got fairly standard ground textures and fairly standard plants, all standard trees as well. And if we venture out a little bit, you're gonna see what I mean with respect to this map being kind of sparsely forested. So there's a, a fair number of trees, but there's also a fair amount of space between 
all of these trees. So you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever in maintaining a nice solid FPS on this map. Now, with respect to our scoring, this map has a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such because, well, we have five productions built in. It would have been nice to see the ability to sell the things that we can produce at most of those five productions, but nonetheless, we do have production built in or areas set aside for such. We do have the ability to sell all our basic crops, animal outputs, and productions. We do not have the ability to sell lime or stones, which isn't really going to take anything off as far as our points go, but it is something very important to note. So we are going to give the map a full point there. Now it should also be noted again that we have production that is on this map that doesn't have sell points, but we don't take off for that necessarily, but it would be nice to see this map get updated and have those productions be available for sale somewhere. With respect to farm customization, yep, again, we talked about that. We're going to give the map a full point there as well. We're going to make our way down here to the south. That's where all of the triggers are, but you kind of get the gist here. We've got rolling hills from the north is the highest point of the map to the south, which is going to be the lowest point on the map. Everything is on a pretty steady decline. And it'd be kind of interesting to do a full arable farm on this where you clear out a bunch of these trees and make up your own fields. Those where probably are using the new texturing technique. Yes, where we are using base game buildings or DLC buildings, they're obviously all using that technique. And then the mods that are up at the main farm, they're also using that as well. So here we have our sawmill, right? So we have our wood cell point, we have our wood dump trigger, we have our fill point for our wood chips, and then we have our spawn point and our interactive icon. I believe this is going to be the cat accessories or the pet accessories. So we have an interactive icon, we have our dump point and our spawn point. This is going to be our flooring factory. So we have an interactive icon, we have our dump point, and then we have our spawn point here around the other side. This is going to be our furniture factory. We have our interactive icon, we have our dump point, and we have our pallet spawn point there. Then we have our carpentry, interactive icon, dump point, and pallet point. And then a nice little shed, and we can put other stuff here as well. So we own all of this. This is all ready to go. And the rest of our cell points are going to be located down here in the extreme southwest corner. And here we have another log cell point. A farmer's market cell point. We have our animal dealer. So we have our animal dealer cell point there. And then our animal dealer trigger located right here. Of course, we don't have any animals, so we can't do much with that. We have a cell point here at the logistics facility. Rusher Mart. And then around the back, it's also a bowling alley. Kind of interesting. We have our vehicle dealer. So we have our dealer trigger. Located right here. And then our dealer buy trigger right here at the side door. And a fairly large area for our vehicles to spawn. Down the road from there, we have our fuel point. And then we have a grain cell point right there. At that point, we're right here on the edge of the map. And we'll make our way back up the hill. So, trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked. Yep, we're going to give the map another full point there. So this does give this map a score of 5 out of 5. Now, this might not be your type of map. 
and you might disagree with the score, which is perfectly fine. But based on our scoring metrics, then that is basically how we're going to see it here. Wilderness maps usually are a bit easier on the scoring because of the fact that there's not a whole lot going on. But as with anything, kind of use your imagination on how you might be able to implement this and make the most of this. I think it's a really cool setup. Here we've got a little bit of a flat area so we could kind of set up a nice farm build here if we had the money to buy the land. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this map. And until next time, happy farming.